everyone welcome to my channel I'm tired so bear with me but I've been to Costco's did a little damage gotta go back because I saw a chair and a rug and a two-pack lamp that I want to get from my house so I'm waiting for my daddy to give me a ring-a-ding-ding because -ding, he has a pickup truck so we can go back and pick those items up before the people take my stuff all right let me show you what I got now I'm gonna try to see if I can flip the camera around. If not, we're going to have some awkwardness going on up in here. How y'all doing? Happy Friday to you. Hope you have a glorious weekend. Did I go with that, y'all? You know, it's been a long day. Alright, let's see. If you can see here, you know what? I'm going to pause because my daughter has so before she go, she can patch this video together for me. How about that, y'all? So, I can do this part and then I can flip the camera around and show you everything because I don't know how to work my device. I'm one of them people. I just want to press the button. Alright, so let's see here. I was watching The Wads. I want to say that's the name of that channel. Love her channel. Oh my God. You ever need to pick me up? Want to feel better? Go over there because that, that homegirl is a trip. Well, she just recently did a Costco tour uh, shot with me and then she just did a haul. And in the tour, I saw this. And I was like, OMG, I want to try that um, Chicken Street tacos thingamajigger. But then I got to my store and it wasn't being very nice with the price. So my daughter was feeling sorry for me and she got it. This is hers. This is a tor tortellini pasta salad. And I think this is very reasonably priced for how much you get in. It's got big chunks of feta cheese and just um, roasted red peppers and all of that good stuff. Over here we have, let's see, Sabatasio, something like that. It's six and six. So you get six pepperonis and six four cheese. Um, personal uh, size individual size pizzas so I got that mainly for my son and I'll probably set two or three of the four cheese pizzas aside from myself um, this is something new a new purchase for my house rather and this is the chicken and cheese um, Mexican grill charbroiled chicken breast with red meat and flour tortillas so it seemed like it's a simple thing a couple of things he can pop in the toaster oven and eat and we have guacamole and salsa and he should be able to be good from there i also saw this in the watch shot with me which was some lemon bites so i went on the hunt for those and um, i took one out for my granddaughter who commented that it was very tasty and soft uh, some quiche. This was on sale today, um, and I think it will be on sale tomorrow before it expires. It was $6.99 or $8.99, and you get eight individual um, wrap crustless quiches. So I thought this would be really good, mainly for my son. And again, I'll probably take two out because I'm trying to move away from so much of the processed stuff. This I did get... For me, you know, mainly with myself in mind, but I do intend to share. And this is 12 packs of whole grain noodles, gluten-free and vegan. It states it's to be ready in four minutes. It's got eight grams of protein per uh, noodle cake. And then there is a little recipe on the back. So I thought this would be great for um, just pretty much adding veggies. And in the Ultimate Reset cookbook, there are a lot of different dressing recipes, so I intend to uh, use those dressings with the noodles and just do warm soup type dishes and also cold salad type dishes. This is also on sale and will expire um, after tomorrow and this is the pumpkin seed and flex granola. I've had this before and I really enjoyed it, especially you know, putting it on top of yogurt and a little drizzle of honey. And then I had root suns that just came in and devoured it. Like, they're really about that healthy eating life. And I was just like, how dare you? So, it's back. 
ancient grains. Now, um, there was a different type of rice. I can't think of the company right now that I normally buy, but they now sell it in pouches. And I don't really like that. I prefer it to be where I can cook it. So, um, in turn, I found this, and this is an exquisite blend, per the package states, of rice, burglar, come on now, pre-cooked durum, wheat, barley, wheat berries, red rice, oats, and quinoa. And it's 34 servings, and it's supposed to be ready in 10 minutes. I bought a big box of this, because typically I get it when I go to Target. And um, this was eleven ninety nine. How many servings should be in this thing? Uh, about thirty nine is what it's saying. Excuse me. And this is some protein pancakes, and they really do cook up nicely, guys. It don't taste ridiculous. You know how some stuff just tastes like cardboard. Where is that one that I would not recommend? Um, this one. That's one up there. I got it from Costco's. Okay, Naste. Okay. And it's I have to force it down so I don't lose my money because I think it was like $14.99. All right. These were $7.99. Four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got five. And I thought that was pretty decent um, of the these little lint rollers. Now, this is not only good for your clothing but I find that I use um, I keep one at my bedside table and just roll it over my blanket or my comforter or pillowcases and it just picks up any little debris if you eat in bed or you know any loose hair if you don't tie your hair up at night it just grabs those things up to help keep your linens um, you know free of crud and crap alright we got this and so almond milk unsweetened um, vanilla and it's three half gallons in here and it states it's 30 calories per serving this was on sale their Clorox 2 for $9.99 their Kirkland um, de laundry detergent and the lavender scent this was $11.59 and then over here because I really need to put shit away oh, excuse me this is their Simply Campbell's Chicken Noodle 8-pack. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that's all. Yeah, that's just one flavor. I don't know why in the store I thought it was two. I'm tired. Um, my daughter picked this up for herself when she visits and my granddaughter when she visits so she don't need all of Grandma's Rice Krispy Treats. And then she bought the Sun Chips. I was contemplating it, but then I was like, mm, no. Got some water, so one case is mine, one case is my daughter's, and then we're just gonna just trinkle over here. These mandarin oranges were like $5.99 or $6.99, so I picked those up. Got a case of um, cut green beans, and I'm kind of second guessing it because I typically get the frozen ones from Trader Joe's, and I've been pretty happy with that. And I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Got some blueberries, they were like $3.50, no, $3.99 today. These are three ninety nine. This I don't know. I don't know what's up with that, but yeah. One set of strawberries were five ninety nine and these were three ninety nine. So hopefully, you know, they're not packed with something ridiculous. We got this peppers and these last a long time. At least in my refrigerator they do. Got the organic butternut squash. If I could just hold the camera right, right, y'all? Let's see. We got some ground beef. This is $20. Got the two-pack of the bacon. Now, they did have an apple smoked wood center cut. Them was looking real good. Okay? But they were $16.99, so I went with the $10.99. This was delicious. Okay, this was now in the Watts, um shopping haul I want to say it posted today she showed this I wish I knew her name as much as I'm always watching that her videos damn um anyways they were sampling this at Costco's today now isn't this weird I put it in the basket because I'm like I want to try this this dude looks very good and she just showed it in her shop with me and bought it and 
And then I said, wait a minute, I think the lady is giving these out as a sample. Went and got it with the guacamole that they sell there with uh, three cups. Awesome. Her thing is awesome. Got some Wild Pacific sardines. Um, this is six 4.4 ounces. And yeah, man, you know, trying to, trying to eat right around this joint. Let's see, we have, I, I, I get this a lot, um, and it goes pretty quickly all around here because it's some peanut butter head, peanut butter and jelly head, folks. Um, four fruit preserves, and it's got strawberry, cherries, red currants, and raspberry. I saw this. This was $11 and some change, and I was feeling shook inside my soul when I bought this because I was like, oh. PB2, they now doing an almond butter, and, and I do have their peanut butter, which I've also bought from Costco's, and I thought I'd give this a try. To keep my children out of my stuff, I bought my son some organic um, Kirkland peanut butter, and I did compare it to the Jif, and the Jif was like filled with hydrogenated this, that, and the third, and I was like, no, not for my baby. This is extra fancy unsalted mixed nuts because um, all these nuts except for the pistachios, I want to say, will be allowed on the ultimate reset. So pretty much shake a handful and be like, yeah, bro, we're not really a handful, like one fourth cup because nuts will get you in trouble. These are some um, Calamante Pitta olives and those are also permitted on the ultimate reset when I began doing the program. Got some wild cut tuna. Let's see. And that was $14.99 and that's another one that just really hurts me. It hurts me inside. People, you just don't understand the pain for six cans. You just be like, and then I just blurted it out in the aisle. I was like, either you eat cheap and die early or you give a care about what you consume, but then you're living on breadcrumbs because everything's so flipping expensive to eat healthy, it seems like. Anyways, $9.99 for some chicken breasts. Almost finished, guys. My daughter picked herself up some panko chicken nuggets, which I've, I've had the chicken breasts or the tenders for the boys, and they, they bake up very well in the convection oven. Um, she also got the Island Way Sorbet. We've been eating those off and on for seven, eight years now. And these are very, very yummy, but eat sparingly. Um, she bought herself some shoes, amen, because my daughter doesn't like to buy herself too many clothing items. She's just one of those people. So when I saw her pick these up for herself, I was like, you go, girl. Those were $24.99. Over here is some of the damage I got into, and I have shared in a previous video, I get a lot of clothes from Costco's, and this is just a little bit of it. This is an Eddie Bauer shirt, and if I can find the tag, the tag will be the one that shows you kind of the silhouette better than what I got going on here. But that's the back. This is the front. And I want to say this was $8.99. Picked up some, some trousers. And what I really liked it about these um, ankle fitted pants was this little detail at the end. I just thought that was very, very fetching. Okay. Very fetching. Okay, people. And this is by Hillary Radley. And if you can see here in the inside panel, there is a tummy tuck, so there is some structure um, to help kind of keep you pulled together. This is what it's supposed to look like in the back, and then this is what it looks like in the front. And I thought, hey, this thing can be dressed up. It can be dressed down. You can wear a yellow top, a blush color top. The sky's the limit. If it's not picking up on camera, um, it is like a navy blue and white stripes so I got this top to go with it and I may wear this because Joyce Myers is coming to Christ Fellowship so I may just wear that because that's casual comfortable and uh, my arms will be covered I'll probably wear a blazer as well then I got this guy this was oh the pants was $13.99 
Then I got this. This was $9.99. I have a lot of this 32 cool stuff. I just get it all the time from Costco's. And I thought this is just a really easy knock around the house, you know. Just running a quick errand, get something from the post office, grabbing one or two items from the grocery store. This dress has pockets. I was like, yes, $9.99. It was two other colors, but I thought um, that I liked this. All right. Three of the same guys. We wear short shorts. Uh, with me working out again, i just been finding a need with the resistance loops to not want to be overly constricted with long leggings. Um, workout pants. So one, I wanted it for just being around the house. And two, I thought this would be great for um, some of my workouts. So I probably use this color for the workouts and then these will be the ones when I'm not really going anywhere but I don't want to just be like a total bum and night clothes all day and that's what they look like and they do have usable pockets this material is just some of the softest like your grandmother is giving you a hug feeling got some more hangers 35 non-slip hangers from Costco's they were on sale again for the $9.99 so I grabbed another pack Contigo water bottles I was like come on daughter let's split it and she was like no mom we don't have to go half and half because I want to say they were $12.99 she was like I'll, I'll get it and you just get one and I'll get one and I thought that was very sweet and most appreciated because I've been trying to upon rising within the first hour drink um water and it's it's a real drag sometimes drinking it at room temperature which i know medically it's more suggested to do so but i would much rather prefer cold water and so this is supposed to keep the water cold for 24 hours and then if i was to put it in my tea and i wanted to keep that warm it would keep it hot for 10 hours so i thought isn't that a nifty little guy and the pattern is so pretty there were two or three other design options I got myself this yeah I saw this this was $19.99 and I thought this was really nice um, looking and it seems comfortable it is washable now there was a very beautiful blazer but I left it because that thing had way too many restrictions as far as how you could wash it and I don't need nothing like that in my life but this I can um, a hair too and I thought for two pieces you're basically paying 10 for the robe and 10 for the little nightgown this went on sale because this when it first came it was like $15 and now they marked it down to $10.99 and so I picked this up because you know with a little extra love you need to have some discipline with it put it in its place so you look clean in some of your clothing. So I got this to help out. Let's see, we're almost finished, people. Oral B toothbrushes. I always try to stack up when they go on sale. These were nine dollars and some change from normally being about sixteen dollars, fifteen, sixteen dollars. This when this originally came, this was twenty nine or twenty five dollars, and I got it for nine ninety nine, nine ninety seven actually. Got some of their soap for $9.99. We got my grandbaby, a lovely little Easter dress here. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? That's a pretty. That's so pretty. And he had so many. And then my daughter picked her, my granddaughter, up some, some little pants here. Got some little glitter going on there. And then my daughter saw the shorts that I had. And so she picked herself up some. But now I totally miss this. And I like want me a pair. You know, I don't know what the hell is going on with me. I don't know if it's just because I've gotten in my 40s, guys. And I just want to be comfortable sometimes. You know, when you're young, you, everything's fitted to the nines and snatched and all of that. But now I just want to be comfortable. And when I seen these... Um, I was just like, oh man, I, I need these guys in my life. And no, it doesn't have to be winter. <laughs> I want these and I want these now. So when I go back to get the chair, I'm going to get the 
get me a pair. Why not? Well, that's it, everybody. I think I see some shrimp and stuff. I missed a couple of things, but that's all right. You get the gist of it. Thanks for hanging out with me these 20 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> my daughter bought my grandbaby that beautiful creature up there, and it's so soft. I almost want one for myself. And then I also watch... Oh, Gia's channel. I can't think of marriage and motherhood. Um, they live up in Georgia. And she has the same struggle. I just never comment when she talks about her pillow struggle. But when she left in um, on the video, she wrote in captions that these pillows that she just picked up, so far so good, I knew I needed to give it a try. Because we share the same struggle i've been through so many pillows you guys i'm a side sleeper mostly and somewhat of a back sleeper but mainly a side and i've been having it during this time finding a decent quality pillow since my tama bahama went out on me that i got from home goods at a really good price and any of the ones i've been seeing lately is just not at my price point so this was uh 16 $16.99, something like that. It was under $22 here in Florida to get this. So I'm ready to get that open spread with some Lysol and get some fresh clean linens put on this thing. But now that